Are you practicing dead works? What? You might wonder, what in the world does that mean? In Hebrews, the sixth chapter and the first verse, it says this, Therefore, leaving the discussion of the elementary principles of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying away Again, the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards God. Hebrews 6, 1. I'm going to explain that. Watch the clock when you're doing your Bible reading? Have you ever prayed and wondered if you had prayed enough for that day? Are you relieved when the time is up and you feel you have done your due diligence? This is what the Bible refers to as dead works. If you pray because you feel you need to, or if you read your Bible because you feel that in order to get God's blessing and His righteousness, you have to put in X amount of time. That is dead works. The flow of the Holy Spirit does not come during those times. We don't even feel fulfilled in our natural man. But if we are praying, and especially praising God, for who He is, how much He loves us, and understand that we can come to Him clean and pure and righteous because of what His Son has done for us. Not the works, the mm -hmm. dead works that we are doing to try to accomplish that by ourselves and not realizing that Christ has already accomplished it on our behalf, there is a huge difference. Do you see that? God is not interested in our time that we spend with Him. It's like with our children, it's the quality versus the quantity. When we have that communion with God, when we have that relationship that we know that no matter if we have messed up that week or whatever is happening in our lives, that we can come to Him and stand before Him knowing that through Christ we are righteous and pure and holy in His sight. Understanding the difference between the dead works that we do in our natural person and a relationship with our Heavenly Father, with Jesus Christ, with His precious Holy Spirit that dwells within us. And we understand the difference between those two. It is a difference between life and death. Because when we get that rhema word, the word of God spoken directly from His word to our heart, and we get that rhema word deep within our spirit, then we have that relationship that we want with God. God does not want or see our dead works. This is all man-made works to try to accomplish what Jesus has already done. He's paid the price. He sent His Son so that we can be free from sin, past, future, and present. We don't have to struggle in that, but we can rest assured that when we spend time with Him in relationship and we get that rhema word into our spirit and we pray the answers from the word instead of the problem, that that is bringing glory to God, that that is blessing Him and in turn He reciprocates by blessing us. So do not depend 
on your own efforts to please God. They are dead works. See yourself as righteous in Christ. Put yourself in the position of knowing that you will never do enough or come close to what Christ has already done for you. The more you realize that, the more you will be set free. The more you will see things happen in your lives and things manifest that you all only hoped for. You will see the blessings. You will see the healing. You will see the restoration. You will see the uh, the elimination of anxiety and stress and fear in your life. Create that relationship as God ministers to us through His Spirit. Create that relationship in your spirit. And know also that even if you do mess up, and we all do, we are, we are carnal by nature, but even when we mess up, we are already covered because Christ paid the price. He loves us unconditionally. We cannot earn it. We can't make it more. It is full and complete. So refresh yourself with that knowledge today that the work is already done. Spend your time in praise for what God has accomplished already for you and also in your life, and you will see things change. It is an absolute guarantee. Thank you for listening today for Praying for Miracles with Carol. I hope that you will subscribe if you haven't already, and also send me an email if you have any questions. I'm always here to respond and answer you. Thank you.